Good evening, my lovely Sablinka dolls. Um, hi, um, Gabriella Isley here. Um, I'm reviewing these dolls because um, I need more love. And for once, um, the person that owns this channel actually loves me and I'm their favorite series three doll. So, um, yeah. Um, but we are reviewing something pretty icy today. Um, if you can't tell by the thumbnail and the title of the video, um, Actually, you know what? Let me just go grab them. And, um, yeah. Okay, so we have the new um, Disney Frozen Mattel dolls for this year. And, um, uh, why did my voice just crack like that? Um, but yeah, let's, um, let's take a look at Anna first because, you know, Elsa's our favorite, of course. We also just, like, really love blue. So, um, let's take a look at Miss Anna. Starting off with Anna's box, um, you can see her face is really cute, um, but it's pretty basic. Um, she sings, of course. I'll explain why I got the singing dolls over the basic dolls. Um, she has the Frozen One artwork, which um, not my favorite version of Anna, but whatever. It says the new Frozen logo. It says Mattel, and then um, the back of it has the, actually the same exact photo as the original singing. Mattel on us, so that's pretty cool. And then here's the top. You can pause and read that because I'm not reading it. Um, but yeah, there's Anna, and let me go get Elsa. And then here is Elsa's box, and it's um, Elsa's box is definitely my favorite because I like just love these color schemes. It's literally the same thing except for it has Elsa on it and um, has the Frozen logo. Um, look, I haven't done a review like this in a while, so please bear with me. And then the back is, again, the same picture as the original singing Elsa. And um, if you guys were wondering what that was in the background, that was our cats. Um, they don't know how to shut up, so um, just just deal with it, okay? Just just deal with it. Um, and yeah, here it has the image, and then it has the weird-looking prototypes, which I actually hate. Um, I prefer their final dolls better, actually. Um, but yeah, that's Elsa. So, and if you're wondering, we got Elsa from Kohl's because and we got Anna from Target because the ones at the um, Anna, the Elsa's at Target were not the best looking and they had a fuck ton at Kohl's. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so yeah, um, um, I'm gonna open Anna first because um, her face is so cute. So um, yeah, so let's, let's open them. Um, yeah. Okay, so if you guys are wondering, the best way to open these is from the bottom where there's like this hole and then you just kind of pull the the front cover off, which I cannot do on camera, so let me go do that real quick. And you pretty much just... Voila! So here is Anna um, without the plastic cover. She looks really cute and um, oh, her head is so hard. I don't really like dolls with hard heads, especially if they're from Mattel, um, but yeah, so now let's just open her. Okay, I'm just gonna try and do this without cutting her skirt. Oh, I can just, there we go, and then we'll do the bodice, and then she's got the ties in the head, so I'm gonna do that part off camera because they're a pain to do, so... Let me do that. All right. Anna's free, so um, should we take a look at her first and then do Elsa? Yeah, let's do that. So here is Anna. She is very cute, and um, here's her face. It's very, very simple, but it's very cute nonetheless. I'm very happy with the one I got. Um, she does have poly hair, unfortunately, but her bangs are, like, very soft for whatever reason. And then of course, you know, she sings, I think, yeah, the tab is out, so. Yeah, so, yeah. And um, her sleeves, she has a molded on bodice, but the reason why I got her over her basic doll, which I still might get her basic doll because this is her coordination outfit, is because the quality is just better. Um, the arms go out to the side. Um, there's more painted details. Um, the skirts are made of better materials and they're hemmed. So, yeah, and then, you know, she's very cute. I love her a lot, actually, now that I have a cuter one. And she has a gold necklace, 
and then she has the gold trim on her bodice and then the bodice is textured um, which is pretty cool and then of course she has a removable skirt with the newer body types that Mattel's using for the Disney princesses and Frozen and the skirt is made of real fabric not papery and it has a metallic sheen to it which I like and then her skirt is hemmed and then she just has basic black um, heels um, but yeah that's Anna so now let's get um, Elsa out and um, yeah um, I don't know how to do transitions so uh yeah let's just i might cut this part out honestly but yeah let, fuck it let's just go get elsa okay now let's open elsa who i'm a little more excited for um so <sighs> sometimes i hate filming but i'm doing this for you guys not that any of y'all care but we're just gonna open elsa and um we'll take a look at her so brb again it's the same thing as anna you just gotta very hard to do with one hand. I'm trying. There we are. She is open. So now we just gotta cut the ties. And um, yeah. Just gonna hope that I don't cut the rubber bands holding the shoes because these shoes are definitely not gonna stay. Try not to cut the cape. Try not to cut her hair. I know this is. I think I cut her hair, but whatever, it's Polly. Um, and then we can just pull her braid out. So okay, I'm gonna do the rest off camera because this is too complicated. And um, yeah, so we'll check back in after I get this bitch open. Yeah, so we can just pull her braid out and then I'll do the rest off camera. Okay, she's got um, ties on her cape. So we're gonna use our tiny scissors. Fuck. Why is she so oh, hard to open? And if I'm not moving the camera much, it's because my camera's weird. It doesn't, it has a hard time focusing. So I'm trying not to lose its focus. There, I could just do that. Let's see if we can snip this one, because I want to snip the ties. So, and these are pretty sharp, so. Okay, never mind. I guess not. I'm trying not to ruin her cape. <sighs> I'm going to do this off camera. And this time I mean it. All right, Elsa's free. So now let's take a look at her cause she is very pretty. And here is Elsa. She is very pretty. I definitely prefer her over Anna. And um, I can tell you guys the difference between her basic and the sing doll cause they're very similar, but they're actually pretty different and they're actually made different. Um, Elsa actually has a squishier head than Anna, um, but yeah. And of course she's sick. She's still in try me mode. Oh, I think the tab broke. Um, I'm going to figure that part out when I end this review, but she does sing. Um, hopefully I can get the tab out. Um, otherwise I'm screwed. Um, but her face is very pretty. It's much better than the basic. There's more darker colors. It's purple. She has thicker hair than the basic doll. Of course it is Polly, unfortunately, but it actually doesn't feel too bad. Um, I hate to say it, but her hair is pretty yellow, but it's more of a natural blonde than on camera. Her cape is removable with elastic and not like a clip, and then she has a removable skirt, and then it's like a metallic print. The bodice is actually painted, not the sleeves, and her neck is, that's the color of the plastic, and then her bodice is painted, and so is the sleeves, and then, um, Compared to her basic doll, which this is a solid piece of plastic, and then the neck is painted on her bodice. I hope that makes sense. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Um, her skirt is sounds papery, but I promise it's fabric. It, it's just gotta get used. And then Elsa's shoes are so perfect. Like, these are the perfect um, shoes. Like, they're so accurate. The size, the shape, and everything is just perfect. Um, the color's not, but I don't care. I love this Elsa, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it for Elsa. Um, I'm deb actually, let's just compare, like, here's her original Elsa. We're gonna make this quick. The original is definitely better quality. She's got, she's of course inspired by the concept art. I'm getting a new one, don't worry. Um, but yeah, they're very similar, so. And then for Anna, we've got 
her. And then my favorite Mattel Anna ever. I prefer her um, for sure, but I'm just comparing the faces because they have different outfits. But yeah, so um, I'm gonna set the dolls up and then I'm going to end this review. So BRB. All right, and then here are the dolls together. Um, I love them, to be honest. They're very basic, but if you guys want frozen dolls that are pretty basic, I recommend the singing dolls over the basic dolls any day because they're better quality. But yeah, so thanks for watching the review. If you liked it, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Um, we're almost at 800 again, shockingly. Um, and if you want to see more Frozen videos, let us know. I think Frozen's like dying, but this year is their 10 year anniversary. So let's show Frozen some love. I'm glad Mattel's got the license back. Um, even though, you know, anyway, um, but yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Um, bye.